is ending. Um, right. And we have the immigration that is going on. Buses all over the places. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like the war is caught up to America. Nah. Everybody wants to come here. And you got Kamala Harris. Don't come here. Do Don't not come. come. Here. Do not come. <laughs> Do not come. I, have to, I, I love her shit. She says in her speech, you can only remember three words in her speech. They're all just like, do not come. Don't, or, we we no. have, we have not. We will not. You know, it's always three words that she echoes like at the end. And you're just like, wow, thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, uh, Willie, what do you think about this before I before I give my spiel? And I'm pretty sure Tommy's going to have something great to say. <laughs> what well, uh, about the um, about the um, immigration policy of yeah. the United States? Yeah. Well, all kinds of things. One, um, we wouldn't have a quote unquote immigration policy if the United States readjusts its foreign policy. That's one. Um, and and two, you know, um, I I just it it's just a it's just another way of scapegoating. I I you know I just and I just hear it all the time: immigration this, immigration that, and and it just gets tiresome. I don't I don't see a problem with immigration in this country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't, but I I don't I, I you know. Uh, a lot of right wingers say because I'm, I'm I'm gay because like my parents abused me or shit or shit like that. You know, uh, the, the only people that have abused me in this country have been the right wing, and they're fucking horrible bullshit white supremacy. And so I agree with Willie on this whole. Um, you know, our foreign policy is what has abused the world. Okay, yes. our foreign policy is what abused the world, and uh, nobody really wants to come here because of y'all or take what right. y'all have. Okay, no. If anything, hopefully they're trying to get to Canada like me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this is like okay. So and also, Title Forty Two ends immigration policy. This president swore that he was going to end it himself. Yeah, he kept so it going he, for a yeah, while. He did. He kept it going. He kept the kids in cages going. Two years. He, he, put, he sent troops to the border just recently, just to like mitigate the damages. Yeah. Or We're just going to be doing office work and shit. They every, really... Everything this president does, bro, it's to literally appease the right wing in this right. country. <laughs> And not me. And not I us. agree. So I, I agree. I just wish the liberals um, will agree with that too. I yeah. really do, because everything is just right in your face. It's just right in your face. <sighs> but you know, we're not, we're not going to get a chance to see AOC crying at a cage for a while until until there's a Republican president again. So there is a Republican president. I don't understand <laughs> this. There is a Republican president. Yeah, well, but, but let's let, let's put this out here because I'm, it sounds like that we're in agreeing with the same thing. It's with with, with, the, with, with f- Title Forty Two should end, and we should give a new legislation, and the legislation should be immigration for the people. That's what I would do if I was Joe Biden. And you know, this is the perfect uh, this is the perfect way to, dif- to differentiate how he's a right winger compared to what they say that he's a socialist. He's far from fucking socialist, far. Because if he was a socialist, he would open the border. And I don't want to hear anything about all oh, the cartel, all this shit. Y'all use the same excuse about Haitians while you're funding the cartel. Oh, yes. Don't say that, Jamar. Yes. yes. The U.S. is funding the cartel. Hell Why yes, they are. That? Hell while, yes, they are. While you're funding the gangs in Haiti, also using that as a reason to want to invade. So it's it's your policy is why do we have these issues? And even the president of Mexico was trying to get Biden to understand that. He said literally, um, when I see the weapons from the cartel, they all come from America. Biggest arms dealer in the world. Biggest arms dealer in the world, guys. <laughs> Even the Mexican president has said this. So open the borders, defund the cartel. You know, like, why are you funding the fucking cartel? Just like how you funded ISIS. That's how you fuck it, fuck it, fuck why do the why, why do the right wingers always talk about why do the right wingers always talk about fentanyl? And in Texas, the only people I see smoking fentanyl are the right wingers. Right. Just, just to let you guys know, in Texas, the only people doing fentanyl here are the white right wingers, and they're talking about it all the time. For saying that, though. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the only ones high on fentanyl here. These white people. 
Well, yeah, they only make drug drug issue a problem when it's the when it's the white class. It's not it's not a problem when when the black person or Latino person is doing crack or anything. It's the, the easy solution is jail. But when it's when it's the the white class that are being affected by this, it's all oh, we they have mental health issues and all this shit. They gotta they they, they should be treated uh, fairly and, and given help. Yes, I do agree with that. But how about you do that for everyone instead of just who you choose to do that for? You know, like. Like those are good things. Those are good ideas. So yes, they need to open up the borders. All right. They need to also, like everybody said, cut it out with the foreign policy bullshit where we're just doing all these goddamn coups. For instance, um, fucking. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be like getting off fentanyl. That's gonna be yeah. like getting off fentanyl, Jamar. Yeah, yeah, and and giving all these people housing, giving all these people rights to jobs, just like how you should open up the job market here. Uh, for Americans here, uh, there was one thing that your friend said that I agree with, which I said was a, a really good idea, a federal job. If you can't find a job, that's a socialist idea. If you can't find a job, you you could get uh, hired by the government. Cuba does that. A I lot totally of, think the government should There is actually a, a law. There is actually a law in existence. There is actually a law in existence, just not being... Enforce. It's called the uh, it's called the Humphrey Hawkins Act of 1978. Um, it was uh, uh, sponsored by Senator Hubert Humphrey in the 1970s, and it's supposed to guarantee everybody a living wage job, either in the public or private sector. And um, and it's a, it's the law of the land, and it's supposed mm-hmm. to solve the unemployment problem in the United States whenever it rears its ugly head. It's never been implemented. No, they don't right. even bother implementing it. It's actually law in the United States. Right. And when people ask, oh, how did Cuba eradicate their homelessness? That that's why. They they, they you go, guys. <laughs> Was that simple? Oh, I didn't realize it really is, that. It is simple. It's almost as simple. It's almost as simple as paying your debts. It's almost as simple as paying your debts. <laughs> yeah, right. Pay, pay your fucking debts. It's that simple. Your GDP <sighs> is stronger than anyone else in the world. There should be no issue for your debts to be paid. Oh, we're all gonna go poor. I mean, you they don't even want to pay fucking reparations, Tommy. So why the hell would they want to pay debts? <laughs> uh, and then they go off on Russia for like not for defaulting. I'm just like <laughs> oh no, it's fine. I don't even it's know fine. anymore. These guys are such hypocrites, and they should all just be um on trial for tre- treason. Yeah. I, oh yes, I agree. And also, also um with the border. What is going? Are, are they still doing the air conditioning with the kids in the cages? Like at least they got air conditioner and stuff. Like Hopefully, that. Right, especially right now. Yeah. Like, I think that's the most progressive thing that Biden has ever done. <laughs> oh, that the air conditioning wasn't a thing under Trump. So Biden was like, "Hey, get them kids air conditioning." Like, what are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be here for a really long time, Jack. <laughs> Get these kids some air conditioning. But out of all seriousness, all, all seriousness, this, this uh, we need to do something better, like what, what we just talked about, because these kids are being exploited. These kids are you, you hear about how they're actually being used as commodities to pay off debt and all this shit like that. Like it's it's very very gruesome what I'm hearing what's happening to these migrant kids, um, and people don't care about them because they're not Ukrainian. And I don't give a fuck if someone gets mad about me saying that. They don't care about them because the Ukrainian immigrants, they come here, they get everything. I don't know if people notice that. But it, but Haitian immigrant, oh no. You gotta go back to your island. She don't country. Latin immigrants, oh no, 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 no. You better go back to your country. You better stop that. It's, it's, it's only the Ukrainians right now that are getting actual like good benefits for, for migrating here. And they act like the U.S. is the only country that has uh, immigrant issues. I mean, they hell, uh, shit, I hear them complaining 24-7 in Europe. Like, oh, these, you know, they came here, the crime rate went up, and somebody got stabbed on the train and all this stuff. Like, you hear it all the, all the time over there, too. Like, you guys are not the only ones. Stop. Stop acting like you're special. Like, Americans literally, they, they, they trip on glass, and they're just like, oh, my God, my foot got amputated. Like, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's like the victimhood is just too I mean, serious. Anytime you have like a globalist, like sis, a globalist, like community where like you can, just, like they have the Euro train in Europe, and you can just go anywhere if you have a passport, of course. If you have a passport, mm-hmm. but like you know, I mean, if anytime you're gonna have like a system like that, you're gonna have an influx of different people. You yeah. have transportation, like so, and then you know, 
so I don't know. I, I, I feel like it, like you were right, Jamar. Like the only reason we have a huge problem is because A, they're funding the cartels and B, our foreign policy is creating a, is creating that environment where people are fleeing from the cartels. And that's right. what they're doing. They're not they're not trying to get in here because we have opportunity. They're not stupid as we think they are. No, no, no. They're fleeing the cartels because the cartels are like join or die. Yeah. That's how it is. Well, let's get into something else real quick. Let's talk about um what's happening in NYC. 